intruders. You look pretty intruder to me. Yes, we can get two birds with one stone. I guess it's the bird and me. We'll stop the intruder and finally end your treasure hunting campaign. Oh jeez. Alright. Uh. Uh. Um. Alright, bullet hell. It was this sort of fight with the last boss as well. Okay. So we can... Oh, that's the wrong one. Um... Alright, so we gotta grab that bomb somehow. And I guess throw it at the back of the machine. I'll probably hide in here. Or not. And blow them up. Nope. So it looks like we have to hit them on the back. Oh, I guess we have to throw it at them when they're like that. Okay. Can I go between their legs? No. Of course not. Come on, buddies. Come on. Oh, come on. Alright, are they going to turn around or what? You guys throwing bombs? Oh, oh. Alright. Huh! That didn't work at all. What am I trying to do? Can I just leave? I guess, like, don't fall through. Well, can you get up the other. Oh, okay. No, I guess not. I think maybe I could get up this side. Yeah, don't worry, boss. Boss fight. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. All right, throw a bomb. And I can come and throw. It oh, hello, Leech. How's it going? Good to see ya. Um. Struggling to figure out how to do any damage to this boss. I think we have to just throw the bomb like right at the center of the machine. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mickey Mouse hat. Pretty sick hat. There's a place where we can go to above here that I haven't explored yet, and he wouldn't let me in unless I was an animal, so I had to put on my Mickey Mouse hat so he'd think I was an animal. Ah, yeah, so we meet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Heard you already. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so I can't attack them, can I? Can't throw anything at them to hurt them. Ow. Alright, so I throw this at me now. So can we grab it and throw it? So we can't. Are you right, guys? Oh! Throwing it at him makes him lift his foot up. Right. And then. I guess when I lift his foot up, that means it's just some weird uh, foreshadowing because because these other legs there, I didn't think I could actually get through there. Ah, oh, missed. Hopefully, it's close enough. No. Nope. Oh, at least we know. I think we know what to do now, and then I guess we can hit the button from behind. Got him. Okay. Go, 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 go. Come on. Um, can we go past him? Is there anything to do up behind? These things are meant to be like highly explosive, these crystals. There we go. Can we just leave? Oh, I guess we can shoot a cannon at him. Aha. Um, alright, it's a little bit of confusing boss, but I say figure it out soon enough, hopefully soon enough. It doesn't look like I can adjust this cannon like I can with the, oh, ow. It doesn't look like I can adjust the angle in this cannon like I can with the other cannons that I've come across. Oh, oh, okay, lift your leg up, let's go. 
But it looks like that cannon reset. So maybe I only get the chance to do one shot. I guess if I stay on it, I might stay on it. And stand all the way over this side. Ooh, that was pretty close, but I don't know if I can spawn all the way over this side. Alright. There we go! Got him! Is that just one? Don't knock me off. Damn, okay, so you always get knocked off. Here's some heavy fight, GD fire power to take these guys out. Oh, okay, thanks. I always forget to check the power, what the power says. Um, damn it! Okay, okay, damn it! Don't hit me! Don't hit me, bro. Hopefully it's just two shots? He was hoping. The last boss was only two shots to kill it. Um, I'm just gonna hide under here while the crystals are falling, I think. There you go. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh, 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 get him! Yes! Come on! Damn it. Oh well, one more. I have to do it flawlessly. Too easy, huh? Alright, let's dodge, dodge, dodge. All right, my oh, buddies. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, while I'm down here, I might as well. I was totally expecting to fall on the spikes. Then, by the way, I thought there were spikes directly beneath the holes. How many does the process has 29 dimensional shards? We're almost able to go and get the third reward from the pawn shop. Alright, throw a bomb, come on. Thank you. Nice and close, thank you. Nice, nice spot. Alright, let's get him. So the candles the cannon's angle has changed. I don't know how maybe running on it makes it change. I'm just hiding under here. Screw that. Screw risk getting hit. Yeah, that, th there would be three crystals there which would have hit me. Okay. Oh, running back and forth. Oh, oh, got him! Come on, just three hits. There we go. boy. <laughs> Damn you. Now we're going to get in trouble for breaking the drill, but... Don't worry, Lucas, we'll finish him off again next time. But for now, retreat! Oh, so they took my cannon cart. Alright. See you guys. I uh, should be a save point just past here. If there's not a save point like right here, I'm just going to go back to the other room to save because I don't want to risk it. Okay, there we go. All oh, good. Got it. Press saved. Treasure number six. A walking stick. What do we got? We got the Gossamer Cane. So yeah, it's a walking stick. Alright, let's go! I guess I need to get up and down to dodge things, possibly. I haven't heard this music before. This is new music just for this area. Uh, uh, I guess I can just hit up to dodge. And then maybe the bats I need a duck for. Oops. Alright, so I haven't been through here yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, this game has a great way of throwing new things at you. Duck, jump, duck. Oh god, there's two of them. More? Ah, oh, they're back again. Don't shoot me, bro. What happened to retreating? I thought you guys were leaving. 
just gonna jump over everything. Ah, uh, this sort of looks... Ah, bosses. Oh, this is a weird parallax, because we're obviously in a tunnel. Alright. Underwater tunnel! Jump over these guys. Can't hurt them. We can blow those guys up with bombs, but other... Oh, I think we can hit them to make them just... I can jump on them to stun them, that's right. Aha! Instructions for using GC... Oh, we're gonna get a drill bot! Sp9. To mount machine, stand in front and press up. Once mounted, press up or down to change angle. Press attack to extend left, right, and jump to move. Anything over here? Money! Alright. These pirates are going to be on the run now. Okay, so... Ah, there we go. Yeah. What did it say? Press space to jump? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now he's in the giant drill bot. Come on, Voya. Nope. Got your legs. Can we get through here? No. Alright. Yeah. Damn it! Let's turn all the way back. Ah, oh, I can do that at least. Alright, and the last one. Uh, uh. Really, we need to get these first. So we can get low enough to get this one. I mean, it feels cool to be in a giant mech, but it's a little janky. But also, yeah! Ah, it's a little buggy, but... In a giant mech suit, come on! Power drill! Do I... I gotta... Oh, there's a way through there, actually. God. Very loud. Alright, jumping puzzles in a giant mech. Uh, uh. Giant mech where you don't exactly know where the the foot hitbox is. I'm just gonna like wait until I'm way off the edge. Go! You jump. Damn, I can't take my mech with me. Or can I? Uh. What was it to get out on? Aha! Dimensional Star, that's the 30th? Yes, 30th. Alright, let's go. I wish there was some way to get some health back, but... Oh, just to be, do some sick dodging. I like this, I love this parallax effect. It's really cool. Also because we're underwater. Some of the jumping puzzles in this game can be pretty punishing though. Even though I have the boots now, which give me the extra jump height. I'm just going to wait till I come back alive again. Come on. Mm. 
All right, I'm back. I'll figure out pause while we're coming back. So we didn't miss any other sick action. Let's go. Any more dodging? I'm ready to jump. The dock. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was so expecting to be chucked off then. All right. So here we are. Uh, worst position. Piss off. Sass line is the staple of any good RPG. What do we have here? Fire. Jeez, this dungeon seems far from over. Ever since, uh, in this game so far, every dungeon you've, I've been in has been uh, defeat the boss and then you just leave. Um, I mean, it's just right. Got him. Get him, get him. Yeah. Try to kill slimes with the cannons. Alright, these big ones unravel when you jump on them, so you only have a fraction of a second. Sorry, I think some of that damage. Come on. Uh. Come on! jump over the top of these guys. Nope. God, they're in the worst position. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh. The old wheel, huh? Of course it rotates. Jump onto you. Alright. I reset. I meant to do this. I guess I just meant to wind it? Cause yeah, there's no way I'm jumping up anywhere. Oh, uh, come on. Ready? There we go. Come on. Okay. Got it. Uh, so I'm gonna jump here and then like that. I think it's enough. Just do a quick little jump. Hook. Okay. Got it. Uh, oh, I missed the jump. Damn it. I pushed the button, I swear. Alright. Uh, I'm getting better at this now. Push the jump button this time. There we go. So it looks like is water gonna flow out of here? No. I thought water was gonna flow out so we could use the use it to dodge this fire, but I guess not. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was guessing we wouldn't be able to hit it. What do we have here? One full counterclockwise rotation will fall. Okay. Thanks, dude. Oh. It's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage on the fire. Oh, really? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I was wondering if it was going to give me a sound. Or if I just have to count. 
Uh, I think that's too low. I'm not gonna make that jump. That's a bit better. Uh, even the better one wasn't high enough. Jump! Ready, jump! Got it. Alright, so now we have the water which we can throw at these fires. Hopefully we can find a save point sometime soon. Missed him. I think the fire that it spits out gets stopped by the water flying. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it, oh okay, I guess I guess stopped by the flowing water, just not the stable water. The still water. Oh. Oh thank goodness. Wait, is there a... There's another one. Of course there's another one. Back again. It'd be nice if there was some more water a bit further up. Well, then I would run all the way back. So, uh, Leech, how's that table going of yours? You're putting together a table, right? What do we have here? This area is off limits. Good thing I have a keycard! Nothing is powered on. Another restricted area in here. Ah, oh, it's the mushrooms they were stealing. Ah, uh, that went through the... Wait, can we... Is this a wall here? Yes. I'm sorry, Psycho Shroom. I will save you as soon as I can, I swear. Ah, oh, so now this computer is on. Red gate open. Alright, now I can switch to my blue cap. And these robots will think I'm a janitor. Because only janitors wear blue hats. We hear more cubicles in the giant underground base. Okay, we have a yellow gate which needs opening. Here is a computer which. Oh, there's a wall there. Ah, oh, damn! Here's a computer which we can switch on. Green gate. And this will be yellow. But I could have gone down from that previous area as well. I want to check out that first. It might be a dimensional shard. Is the yellow up there? Maybe the yellow one up here is the one that has the dimensional shard. There's a doorway. I'm going to go back. If it's a dimensional shard, I'll just grab it. No, nope, it's just another computer. Okay. Elevator. Right. And then we have to go back. Okay, that makes sense. Like that, robot. So over to the left here. Ah, okay. So I guess we couldn't have gone down here anyway. Thank goodness. Got some health. Let's take the restricted elevator. Down deeper into the earth. We're already deep underwater. Um thing tells me this robot won't like Okay, so I can't attack these robots. Oh really? You shoot lasers at me too? Oh, he's got a night stick. Wow, I didn't actually expect the doors to open and do anything. I just figured I'd walk past them, hop pressing up anyway. Okay, so we got lasers in both directions. This is as long as they fire regularly, which it seems like they do. I say as I get hit. Oh man. Oh. 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 Don't throw wrenches at me. Damn it. That's a, oh, that's a big throw. Um I have Oh come on. Don't fall on me. Damn it! Okay, at least lasers at least lasers I can time. Um, 
Excuse you? That's okay, I'm gonna it for a wall. Uh... What? You need to, like, bottle some laser or something? <laughs> of course you need to bottle some laser. And I see there's a dimensional shard up there, but I have no idea how to get to it. Looks like there's an air vent down to the left. That's what those yellow things are, uh, air vents. Bottled laser, yeah. yeah. I mean, I understand bottled water or bottled fire, but... Bottled laser, that's a bit of a leap in logic. I think I'll just go around the other way. Oh, I guess I need to come... <laughs> yeah, you should see the street value on this shit. Um, can I... Oh, there we go. That's how, that's how we can kill these robots. Okay. I'm gonna see that. It's nice that even this late into the game, they're still introducing new enemies, new mechanics. Oh. Well, at least I managed to save just before. I didn't expect him to turn around so quickly. Ah, oh, man, I wish this lift was a bit faster. Wait, is there a laser right at the start? Maybe I can bottle up some laser right at the start and deal with those. Not here, at least. Go, go, go. Don't hit me. Um. Aha! Okay, I can't. Alright. Doesn't look like it does any damage. Which sucks, but oh. Uh, at least I know. I will have a bit easier at least. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. I'm definitely gonna have a hundred a thousand gold by the time I leave the facility. Wait, so I can... Yes. Zap him. Oop. Alright. Don't throw. Throwing isn't nice. Oh, they didn't throw. Alright, this is going a bit better. At least now... Yeah, man, have you tried that new laser? Damn, I already can get pretty fucked up. At least now I know what I'm doing. There are some lockers over there which I can obviously get into if I find the right entrance. Oh, come on. Really? Don't turn around. Ah, oh, so hard to jump up here. Don't turn around. Okay, so I made it here with a lot more health than last time, that's for sure. Oi. Okay. What do we have here? Ah, okay, so we have some vents, we have some lasers. Um, there's some robots shooting at us. Oh. Stop that. Stop it. I can stand on it. Oh, can I hit it from behind? Damn. Maybe if I hit it from behind with a laser. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. Jeez. Enough money. Can't take any more hits like that, though. Piss off. Ooh, that was close. Uh, can I... I don't think I can come through here with the laser, can I? Oh, I definitely can. Yeah, I can't go far holding it, though. Oh, jeez, this is a real maze. Oh, jeez. Nailed it. So I gotta have to find a way to come out down the bottom, but also holding some laser, because I can't jump up into that gap. 
You can jump this way. I gotta get down there. And there I, I think I can jump up here. I don't think this is too high a jump. Oh, of course it's too high a jump. I'm ready to die. Actually, there's a save point just here. It'd be a lot nicer to put a save point just here instead of on the other side of the gate. I'll see if I can find my way through the gate first, then I'll come back to get all the various bits and pieces. Oh, come on. Damn it! Alright, the difficulty's really ramping up. Go, shall we? Alright, run! Jump! Okay. Good start. Not so good. Not so good. Yeah. Oh my god, stop turning around, dude. That's so erratic. Damn, I'm already on half health. Thank goodness I have all the health upgrades. Man, Shibi, you should have been at my other stream the other night. I fed some uh, psychedelic smoke to a giant mushroom and he took me into a really trippy headspace. I got like stuck inside the body of a beast and there were some platforms which only existed when I was standing on them and flashing lights all over the place. It was great. This one again, so this is where the two robots are. Fun. I don't think I can just jump over this guy really. Come on, let me in. Don't, don't come back. Oh, that was close. He almost got me. Right, and this guy I can jump over in the gap at least. Don't turn around. I was expecting them to turn around that time. They don't turn around when you want them to, and they do turn around when you don't want them to. Okay. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, that's right. Dodging lasers while dodging lasers while dodging lasers. Oh. At least with the hook, I can hook my way out of the way of it. Um, alright. Oh, that was close. Okay, right, so I'll take some with me now. So, I don't want to fall down this gap just here. We can't go up to the left there, so I guess we can't jump up this way without a hook. Oh, yes, we can. Sometimes the jumps in this game are a little janky, but if we drop down here. Oh, and then drop down. Oh, damn it. Oh, I missed. That's alright, we can come back. Let's get the save point. Goodness gracious. Thank goodness. Maybe it's another boss fight, maybe it's the pirates again. So... We head back this way, head all the way back around. At least we have the health now, at least we have the save point to fall back on. We can hook now, so that'll let us, even if we do manage to fall all the way down, we can... Jeez, thank goodness for that save. I did the exact same thing that I did last time. Yeah, but well we can hook our way back up again, which is nice. Hopefully. Come on. Our hook should work. Maybe we can only hook onto grates. Oh really? It's not going to let us back up. We have to do some really precise platforming. Come on. 
Yep. Pixel perfect jumps here. Uh, I don't think it's worth it for a little bit of money. It's a shame we're missing out on the dimensional shard, but oh well. I don't trust this. That looks like a laser that it hasn't turned on. Oh, I thought this thing was in the foreground. This feels like a boss fight. This feels a lot like a boss fight. Pirates. It's funny seeing like the old timey pirates in a high tech science facility. Why do you keep sneaking into places where you don't belong? I'm getting sick and tired of beating you up. Yeah, we're sick and we're tired. Shut up, Lagos. That's not what I meant. Tony Ward hired us to stop you from getting all 12 ancient treasures. You know who Tony Ward is, right? He's the CEO and a clone of... Are you really meant to give this much away? I don't think you're very good employers. If he finds out we haven't killed you yet, and you're snuck into a secret facility, he'll kill us! And well, that's worse than being sick. We're just going to have to kill you now. You know, match for our swordsmanship. And God! <laughs> oh no, the patented windmill technique. Um, excuse you, excuse you, oh when they're stunned, okay so we can, unless we don't do any damage but we can, ah oh, okay there we go, that's how we damage them, so we gotta, smack down, Come on. Got him. Um, um. Please don't TNT me, guys. Can't go any further to the right. Alright. I guess for the save. Thanks, Leech. Patented sword technique. Acha. Acha. Oh, come on. Ah, and there's iframes. On hit. And into those lasers, damn you. Okay. Should you hit some both? No? I hit on both. Up it, guys. You're real annoying. Yeah, oh, okay, jump. All right. Yeah, come on, guys. Well. Oh. Some BS right there. It's such a spammy fight. My goodness. Threw me straight onto it. I'm gonna skip it. Speed fingers. Yeah, they. I mean, I did get baited.
Yeah, let's get one, two, damn it, just one. Yeah. Oh, and hop, hop. I wonder if I can throw my hook at them when they stun locked. I can, okay. That makes my life a bit easier. Okay, that does make my life quite a bit easier. Come on. They just spawn. I want to get past you. Just let me past you. I can stun you over here. I didn't jump. I don't know why my character jumped, but. Oh well, at least I know I can hook him now. But there's some of the AI in this game with these robots and with these guys where they just like constantly walk towards you and don't give you a... They don't give you a second of space. Because I can't throw my hook at them and I can't hook them from up on that ledge either. Oh, so that guy only needs one hit then. <laughs> Wait, maybe... Does throwing my hook work as well? Let's try. Let's actually try. No. Look at them! And because every time you hit them, you get knocked back as well, like right back. Just be hit already. Oh, this is frustrating. This is very frustrating. Just because of how inconsistent they are. Go through the same cutscene every time. I mean, if they're sick and tired of beating me up, just leave me alone. mix things up by jumping at me instead of just trying to hook me. I was trying to swing at me. Oh, I'm close enough. Come on. Oh, he gets high friends. Hey, right, come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Run away. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, but the problem is they both stick together. Got him! Got him! Got him! Damn it! <sighs> and because, like, when you're trying to throw the hook at one of them, the other one runs through him and... Oh, jeez. We almost had him. Almost that time. This time's the, this time's the one. I'm feeling it. I'm just gonna play it safe. Real safe this time. But first of all, start off by get- oh! Okay, 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 that's good, the first hit. Thank you, thank you for jumping, dude. Oh, almost got the other guy. One, one, one. Nice. Alrighty. 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 Alright, that's his... Oh, I was going to say that's his first hit, but it wasn't. I'm just going to stand closer. Alright, I think that's his first hit. Yes. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, that's two hits. Now if I get over here quickly before they both get over here. Okay. That seems like a pretty solid strat. And I'm pretty good for health. Alright, so I gotta jump over. No, that's fine. That's not so fine, but it'll do. Okay, okay. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, okay. Oh, over to the right. Please let it be a safe point. Please save. I don't trust this doorway. Please be a safe point. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Restricted area. Oh man, yeah, I said I was feeling good about that, that run. Ah. Oh, so now I got some um, 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 um. Some robots, small robots throwing stuff at us, shooting stuff at us. Can't really dodge on these platforms either. Um. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. It's fine. What do I need a laser for? We can't even use the laser. That laser is happening a lot faster than all the other lasers that I've encountered have. Alright, so there's a point to shoot a laser just there. And the laser is just here, okay. Um, that was my bad. I've known you for the time on that one. Just as I was complimenting myself on how well I had the timing of these down. This is where I missed the laser. Alright, that's one of four. I missed, I missed one, didn't I? I know where it is too. It's going to be up and to the right where that platform was that I thought, oh, this platform doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Alrighty. At least I, at least I can save in between each of them. Make it. That is. Okay. I'm gonna keep an eye out for this laser because it happens a lot faster than all the other lasers in the game. As I say, I say as I jump straight into it. Um. Um. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's land on this gear. Then we can land here. Okay. All right. All right. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Oh. Got it. Alright, let's get save. Don't risk it. Can I drop down this side? Probably, yes. I was in the middle of the thing, probably not, but... Um... Okay. I might have to go up and around to turn them on or something. Ah, oh, phew, for a second I thought I was stuck underneath. At least the music's pretty cool. Alright, all right, okay. Too easy. Just do this like I've been doing it. Thank goodness, in most of this game there's no knockback. I guess, unlike, except for fighting against, against those pirates where they're all, they have all the knockback for the rest of the game. But things don't like knock you off ledges or knock you off hooks for the most part. Yeah, except for those damn pirates. You just have, yeah, 3,000 hours, game hours worth of knockbacks. Man, these hooks can be touchy sometimes. Thank you. Alright. Oh, these are easy to get through. Just run. Alright, what do we have here? We have a crystal. Oh, this crystal that says do not touch. I don't know what this thing is. It feels like it's a block that's going to explode. Uh, I see ya. It's gone. There it 
is. Ah, okay, so it's like a conduit. Uh, it's like years. Went down these gears, now you gotta go back up them. Have fun. <sighs> That's how humanity's going to end, isn't it? Robots throwing shit. Ah, oh, the momentum, come on, guys. Don't throw shit. Don't go throwing shit. Thank you. Uh, I think I can just... Uh, ready for me to mistime this? Oh, okay. Okay. I was so ready to mistime that one. Damn it. Alright, plenty of health. Do we have to bring that? I guess we can't bring that laser with us now. It's nice that we can just run over these gears at least. <laughs> no, I've missed some of the janky jumps in this game. Fine enough. Um. You right there, laser tank? Oh, of course. Seems easy enough. Gonna be a pain getting back up again, but there's the least gonna be just here. Uh, so slow. Um. Okay. Oh, that time it hit me. The first time I went past it was fine. The second time, I didn't move or anything. It just decided that to be the time it hit me. Anyway. All right. Now, these things are very grindy and irregular. Alright. Alright. Okay. Just hold right, just hold left. Turn on right. Alright, final boss. Well, final boss of the arrow at least. Oh, this is the slow moving platform. Don't stop. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> just stand perfectly still and I won't notice you. Don't throw. Please just don't throw. You're right. Good robot. Good little killer robot. Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, this is ominous. Hopefully there's a save point after this room, or before the boss at least, so that we don't have to go through that whole slow moving platform thing again. Um, is this a firewall? I'm hacking! This is how hackers do it! Oh, what game was that reminded me of this? I pray, I pray the hacking's like this. Hello little happy robot, he's going to turn angry in a moment. Oh! Welcome user! I am the Global Corp Mainframe 1000X. Please give me your command. May I suggest we play a game? Would you <laughs> Would you like to play a game? <sighs> oh, you're on for it this time, buddy. Our boss is on his way here and he's pissed. He's sick of you out meddling. Yeah, you meddling kids are ruining everything. Mr. Ward is very angry and he'll be here any second. Master Ward is on his way here. You would better be careful, you sir. Master Ward is a bad, bad person. At least it seems the robot's somewhat on my side. He uses my programs to do horrific, horrific things and yeah, so the robot is just, he's just like, I am just a tool. Please don't be evil with me. Shut up, you obsessed TV. We didn't ask for your opinion. Ooh. Ominous music. <laughs> that slow walk. He just like sh pulls out a gun and shoots the two pirates in the head for not doing a good job. We finally meet, hero. I mean, we've met you. I met you before in your office. I'm sure you know who I am by now. But if you're dense, I'm the president and CEO of Globocorp, and I own everything, even you. I'm afraid that your little treasure hunting escapade is the only threat to my world dominance. 
And that's why it must end here. Oh, Sad robot. Well, it's been lovely meeting you. I'd say we'd meet again, but that simply isn't true. You'll be visiting another dimension shortly. Give my regards to your father. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go, my bumbling henchman. All right, so that's the kind of vibe that I was... He's just moonwalking through that door. Just like doing the eye thing. So this room's going to fill up with goop or something. But yeah, I was guessing because I'm so far through the game, I've only found six of the 12 treasures. Like I found exactly half of them. And there's been all this talk of traveling to different dimensions the whole game. And I've been seeing these islands in the background that once I do the full world circuit, I haven't seen been to these islands in like in the full circuit. So I figure maybe they're just on a, another plane of existence. So, uh, angry computer. Personality protocol overridden. Defense grid program activated. Danger, danger, danger. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I can stand on green. I thought green was just like a platform I could jump through. Um. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, it moves, didn't it? Okay. Oh, I guess it just moves and I have to, ah, oh, this is a cool little boss fight. This is a real neat spin on the boss fight. And it's got that classic boss fight music back again that's had the whole game. I mean, I was saying, oh, why don't they change the boss fight music up a bit, but I missed it. Oh, I think I missed that thing in there. Oh, damn it. So up in that top left corner, I think I want to get the bottom one first. Alright, so I have to find this I hit down! Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm assuming it's a boss. It's it's the robot defense grid protocol. I assume we're gonna overwrite the programming and he's gonna be like, I am sorry, but I must still send you to another dimension. Alright, so I wanna go under first, unless that traps me. Okay. I hit up! I definitely hit up there to get the one in the. I guess I should probably get the one in the cor top corner first. I mean, it's been a nice mix of bosses in this game. Alright, so some of my inputs are being eaten in this as well. Which is so much fun. Yeah, got that. Alright, and then up. Alright, so I forgot where the static box were. I'm almost dead. And this is only our first of, what, four of them? Three of them? Alright, so head to the top one first. Can go that one real quick. Alright, now don't forget where the static ones are, I think, here. And up, and down. Okay. Okay. Uh... Damn it! Ha ha ha! You can't run from us now! Prepare to meet your doom! Yeah, you're doomed now. This is getting crazy. Listen, I'm gonna go see if I can find some help. Try to distract them for a while. <laughs> see, bird. Yeah, no, just just fly slowly. You're alright. Uh, looks like I can hit the bottom of this ship. Somehow. The big pink glowing thing. Uh, uh, okay. Will the defense grid re-engage? Nope. It just stuns them for a while. Ah. Uh, must be any faster. Ow! Parkers. 
Okay, thank you, thank you. Add a, add a girl, boy, add a parrot. I guess I get that timing exactly right. Or oh, I guess we weren't really meant to get that top right one first because this whole pattern layout has changed now. Uh, drop here. I'm um, just turning it safe. I'm on one health. Oh, that's a dick of a jump. Okay. Alright. Need one chance. Pac Man. Hopefully, if we go out one side, we can come back in the other. I mean, I'm not the most prolific Pac Man player of all time. I mean, it's one of those staples that everybody know, should know how to play, but. Oh, thank goodness he didn't come towards me. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. All right, ready for round two. Still on one health. Go, birdie, go on. No, just fly more slowly, you'll be right. All right, so... Oh! He bounced where I wasn't expecting him to bounce. He bounced off like nothing. And we're going to respawn down at the bottom of this... Yay. You get to... This slow wait. Where we have the possibility of taking damage too, don't forget. Push it. Oh, thank goodness we go over the top of that one. And thank goodness this robot that is up here seems disinclined to th actually throw anything. Yep. Unless he just didn't want to that time. Okay. Okay, thank goodness for that. At least I know somewhat what I'm doing now. In theory. Yeah, I got him this time. Oh, this cutscene. Hopefully I don't get zapped if I take any damage in this one. Oh, oh, playing it safe. But yeah, this eats my inputs a bit. That mini game. Hello, little robot. I know you don't actually mean me harm. All right. Let's get him. Oh, here he comes with his evil saunter. Yes, I am evil. Look at me doing evil things. Alright, yes, I am the evil evil face. Boop. Alright, so we get over here and then it goes defense protocol activated. Alright, let's see if it's randomly generated every time. No, it doesn't seem like it's randomly generated. It's the same pattern that it was before. Ow. So we'll head straight over to the one that we can get to without taking damage, shall we? Ah, damn it. Except we take damage on the way. Okay. Um. Oh, God, it's Frogger! Take it slow. It's slow and steady. Something will be fast. 
as they say, at least this one's very consistent on the patterns. I am a slightly higher than mediocre average player, at least. <sighs> yeah, I'm. I should be pretty good at jumping. Alright, that was just my own. It's because I said that I'm an uh, alright frogger player. Alright, at least we can follow this along. That wasn't the first one I did it. Okay, that's <laughs> drunk. And yeah, the pirates. I'm gonna have to fight these pirates in between every place. But I mean, it feels like it's like a big boss battle. Right, let me move, let me move. Yeah. So I don't know if it's actually a timed thing or if the pirate. or if I just need to hit them twice, because it was after the second time I hit them. I've been pretty solid with the checkpoint so far. Okay, so it is just a time thing. Come on, Parrot, get him! Okay. Yeah, they're always in the boss fights, a bit annoying. It'd be nice if there's just like another little quick point, even if it was just at the start of the area. Alright, so it looks like the one in the top left is the safe one to go to this time. So if I can actually do it without taking damage this time. Oh, I nailed it. Alright, so this is Pac-Man. Very different way to the way I went originally. I don't know if you can go around the outside. Let's find out. Okay. At least there's that. Oh! Oh! I did some inputs. Uh, as long as I just hang out in the top corner. Alright, so it seems that I can just play it safe. So they don't, they never actually go all the way to the top, they stuff like two thirds of the way out. Wait for Mr. Parrot to come back. Parrot should be coming back about now ish. Come on, Parrot. Come on, buddy. Something like just over here, should be coming back any second now. Oh, there we go. Oh, I pushed my buttons in the wrong order. Oh, why do they stop spinning that way? Okay. Like hell, I took damage there. Alright. Third one. Now, what concerns me is that here there's three. Previously, there had been four switches. So I don't know if there's going to be a fourth one which shows up, or if... I mean, I can just jump through the platform, tank one point of damage, but be there so much faster and easier. But I mean, if I don't have to tank the point of damage, why not? Why would I? Especially since this one's the one that gives me so much grief. I guess it's, this is the one that you're meant to play last. Judging by the order of the lasers. So it's meant to be the hardest one. At least now I've done it like five times. I can remember how to do it. Now that I've said I can remember how to do it, I'm gonna mess it up. Okay, there we go. Easy, easy. Oh. Oh jeez, I'm not in a good position for these guys to start off. I'm just going to duck in the corner. <laughs> just hide in the corner when they spawn. Let's say this. Don't run any other way. Uh, is that numbers on the robot that they're in, or is it just... Yeah, make it look easy, don't I? Yeah, there, there, get him, get him, get him! Oh yeah. 
Perfect timing. Oh no! Computer! Oh. oh I should take my hat off in reverence. I wear my sick beanie. <laughs> oh jeez, they just flat out dead. That guy has a shard of metal protruding through his chest. Oh yeah, I can. But only horizontally, I can't throw it up. That's alright. I've just flat out murdered these guys. <laughs> they're, they're just... Oh, man. That's a lot more brutal than I was expecting. What do we have here? Computer? Yeah, computer. Did you think I was hurt? Don't worry. I had a backup file prepared for emergencies. Also, that was just a monitor that we broke. I didn't expect the mainframe to be <laughs> integrated. I think I know what you came for. For I'll give it to you if you promise to stop that evil master ward. My treasure chest. Oh, uh, computer, you know me so well. Oh, sick sword. I got a treasure. <laughs> I mean, on the in the main city, there's been bongs on shelves, so it's kind of kid friendly. So we got us this sword of vim, but we still get to use our hook hand to fight with. No, that makes sense. It's just an artifact. It's just a, a purely decorational sword. Oh, hello there, world. I'm scared to death of elevators. Unfortunately, I have to use this one every day. And everybody's just walking around here like, ah, oh, nothing's wrong. It's a problem. Like, if you look on the shelf in this shop I'm going to go into, I just flat out a bong on the shelf, and there's, like, blatantly high mushrooms. In the mushroom caverns. See, look. Look. The bong. We get a torpedo cannon. Effective underwater targets only works well on your boat. Creature, you found 30 inter interdimensional fragments. Take this torpedo cannon as a reward. Be careful though, this is dangerous. Those torpedoes are used by shark hunters. Cool. So that means I can fight sharks. Um, so what are we all... So we've got 40... Question mark, question mark, question mark. So I did miss one in that underground layer. Alright, so... I guess it wants us to next, uh, let's get a treasure map 8, shall I? It's at minus 70, so that means it's underwater. Alright, well, he can shoot things underwater. Let's see how this works. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it still shoots torpedoes, but they also can go underwater. Well, I also want to go see what's inside that house. Now that we have the thousand gold. Oh, I've been here already. Cool. And back up again. Now as we could rise and fall faster. If you shoot behind you, you can move marginally faster, like it pushes you forward about that much more. But not really worth it. I just realized how off-center I am. I've done this one already as well. Jeez. Oh, and did I go straight past the thing I was aiming for? I think it's this one, which is the dark one, actually. So this is where the clams are, yeah. Yeah, so this one got way too dark for me to see. So I need to get there's a torch I can get. I should shoot torpedoes at those clams. Let me find the torch map first. Just there. So actually we have the flashlight map. Okay. I was giving you the flashlight. And I think we are heading towards the building where the, the island where the jungle is, where the, the jungle island where the building is, is what I was trying to say. I think I've, yeah, okay. So I've been to most of these already, at least in this section of the ocean. I think in between the ice island and like the edge of the jungle. That's right, because when I went down, I was in that jungle island. 
which I still have yet to explore. All right, dude. I got a thousand dollars. Oh, for only a thousand coins. What do you say? Want to join the ranks of all the happy owners in the world? Heck yeah! Hmm. Bought a dope ass house. I'm just, I'm just a homeowner now, I guess. Nothing is intractable. Um, I guess I, I think I know what I'm gonna have to do. Or not? I was expecting to be able to grab fire and burn down the cobwebs, but the fire won't let me get it. Um, I, I guess I'm a homeowner now. No secret exits. Dude's gone. It's not even a save point. Okay. Ah, uh, but yes, let's get our Mickey Mouse hat back on. Because we're going to investigate that island town. Another one was like, no, we hate people here. And so I switched to a different hat directly in front of him. He's like, come straight in, Mr. Mouse. Boom, boom, boom. There was a map up here. I think that was the flashlight map. I got to it by releasing this barrel here. Once I've got the underwater, um, I think we can hit these frogs. So, some sick dodging. Hippity hoppity, hoppity, give me the froggity. Alright, so I ended up going down here instead of up here because I'm like, oh, let's see what's down here, and that took us into the that red crystal caverns and ended up back in the city but I'm like oh that looks like a small detour and then it ended up being like three boss fights and the giant CEO saying I'm coming for you and this and that so hi there friend do you have a business or pleasure enjoy your stay all right watch me mess up this jump oh made it Jeez, oh. I make it so hard to platform to get into their town the spinning physics in this game is really weird. What do we have here? Is this a bug? Chameleon? Is he just he's just a very lax chameleon? Oh Gregor the Ant. Do you want me to try on this water pump? Oh, but don't ask me any more favors. Um I I mean I didn't, but sure. So now he can push this so he can talk to the monkey, I guess? You need to meet Wendy. She's the leader here, and there's no one in the world as smart as she is. She started this village so that we animals could live away from the corrupting influence of humans. I have a great understanding of science, but I only use it in ways that are destructive. Here, we try to use our knowledge to coexist with nature. Now, look, there's a torch here. Should we burn down the town? I like that the mouse stands up on four legs. This tribe has been living up here above the jungle for generations. Our ancestors used to practice magic. That's not just a legend, it's true. I mean, there's people. There's still animals practicing. Hello, koala. The bridge here protects us from intruders. It's held in place by three ropes, and it takes at least three of us to raise the lower. If you need to pass through, you have to talk to Wendy. She's probably near her house at the top of the village. Cool. Alright, let's get some save. Let's get our save on. Boom, 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 boom. Um, can I turn this off? No. Oh, I guess I need to push this plant so I can reach these vines. Hello, monkey. Our ancestors relied on their magic to survive. Now we've learned how to harness the power of nature to do the things magic used to do for them. For example, we use the wind to power our wheat. So they're harnessing science. <laughs> Check it out. A thing that only humans are meant to do and they do it destructively. So there's a torch here which we can light, but we have no way of getting up here with fire yet. So here we have a windmill. Hey buddy, we've got an excellent harvest this year. We have more wheat than we know what to do with. Do you want to take some with you? Sure. Don't ask me why. Alright, so here's the three ropes. I'm just waiting to have to, to be able to just burn the ropes. 
there permanently. Oh. Uh, what do you want to say? Hey, buddy. Can I talk to you? No? Oh, this guy's like... <laughs> Alright, I'll turn this one on as well, I guess. What, you want me to turn this one on now, too? Do you realize how tiring that is? If you bring me something to eat, I'll turn it on. Okay. We only had something here that you could eat. Hmm, might have looks pretty good. I'll turn it on. Okay, great. Cool. Get some water and water on this one. <laughs> Look at his little wa waddle. Alright, so that lets us push this plant over here, I guess. I guess we want to go this way. I don't know why I'm pushing these plants or anything. I'm just doing it because they're there to push. Is there something to... Oh, we're totally going to get to burn these ropes. What's with those walls there in between them all? I guess it's to stop you from burning more than one at a time. Hello, I'm Wendy. I'm in charge around here. I knew that we'd come here eventually. You're looking for the 12 ancient treasures, aren't you? I'm afraid that you're toying with powers you don't understand. Those 12 treasures contain a great power that, if in the wrong hands, could cause horrible devastation. If you're smart, you'll stop this adventure and go home. I'm also afraid that I cannot lower the drawbridge for you. I can't be party to your misguided quest. Yeah, yeah. Get some fire going, shall we? Um... Oh, there's the fire. I saw it. There was a candle up there. These look like breakable platforms. That is correct. Uh, uh. Straight. Walk. Oh, jeez. Hello, Hoopsie Toots. Hey, aren't you the Simeon who helped me with the antidote for the sick residents of Angel Oak? Sorry I didn't get a chance to thank you before. I've been collecting these gold metal objects for years, but I really don't have any use for them. I got about 250. Oh, jeez, dude. I knew it would come back to me. What's he gonna say? I'm gonna turn this one on, but don't ask me any more favors. I didn't mean to bump my head there. Damn it! Damn, I didn't want to bonk my head. I'm gonna have to head up there with the water, aren't I? There's a way of doing it with the hook, but there's also the way of just doing it. Which is the way that I ended up doing it, because I can not be bothered janking around with the hook. Momentum, come on! Now, this is a place where I did slip and I needed the hook, so hopefully I don't slip again. Okay, okay, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't even notice this plant was here. Alright, sorry buds. Sorry. I mean, humans, they're not real destructive, I swear. I don't even know why I want to lower the strawbridge. Just doing it because it was there to lo to lower. Hopefully, I won't have to come all the way back up every time. I want more fire. <laughs> hey, Wendy, don't mind me. She's still saying, "Friend." Like, hello, friend. Where are you going without fire in the bottle? Come on. Did you see that? Some maniac just came running over and for no reason at all started burning down. He, I, I think he went that way. Must have been a human. Those damn dirty apes. Oh, it's probably nice and slowly at least. Oops, I'm not like has to say. Wow, you must have convinced Wendy to let you lower the draw the bridge. That's surprising. I wonder what Wendy has gonna got to say about it. <laughs> yeah. Some crazy guy. Ah, oh. ah! Oh, I missed my jump. Damn the hooks in this game.
Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Please let me hook. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't you see I'm trying to save the world, Wendy? Nice, that's what I tell them. She's gonna be like, why did you destroy our ropes? And I was gonna say, because there was fire there. And I had some ropes that are burnable items. You can't expect me not to want to burn the ropes. I what this rhino says if I'm not wearing the hat. He's like, don't come any closer, human. We don't allow any of your kind in our village. Humans are a scourge on this planet. Why don't you go chop down some trees or something? And you actually physically can't get past, but then you just switch over to your hat, like, directly in front of him. Alright, let's not miss this hook. Oh, damn it! I suck at hooking onto hooks in this game. Miss it? Okay. Uh, oh. The way that things rotate in this game is weird. It's just like if you're standing on the left side of the center of it, it goes to the left, and if you're standing on the right side of the center of it, it goes to the right, no matter what position it's it is it itself is in. So I can just tip you straight off for no reason. Looks like I didn't fail those hooks down there. Yeah, those hooks in the forest there, before you get like... Once you've done it once, then some plants open up to like be able to do it a little easier. But the first time, oh, it's infuriating. It took me like 10 tries. Because there's the monkeys throwing things at you. Luckily you can hit the monkeys to kill them. Uh, but there's also those piranhas in the water which jump at you. Alright, so let's see if I can try to avoid screwing this up. Okay. Alright, I, I was going to go up and see Wendy, but I missed that jump just there, so I think I'll skip out on that and save. Uh, such a janky jump to get up to that save point. See you, Wendy. Good, good knowing you. Haha, <laughs> I was a human all along. Now this person in here is going to be like, don't talk to me, human. You're here for one of Lepidus' world-renowned magic spells. Don't believe everything you hear, some of us are still possess the power of magic. Not spectacular, but this wind spell might be useful to you. Remember, it will dissipate if you travel too far away. Alright, so I can get infinite wind. I'm gonna jump like that. Oh, I didn't mean to bonk my head. Wind spell, wind spell. Damn it. I thought I could jump through that platform. So when I first did that jumping puzzle, this mushroom was flat, and so to get up here, I needed to go jumping all around up, up around that way. This cuts out about half of it. Nah, that's so alright, I'll just jump back up slowly and surely. I could reset, but more effort than it's worth. But by the time I just all the loading screens and everything, I may as well just come back. If it happens again, I'll probably reset just to see the time difference, but. Or if I miss any of these jumps and fall back down. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, no, I'm a mouse. I'm not a human. Oh, is that you saw a human and... Closing it isn't just as easy as all that. Close, damn it.
No, I was up here the whole time. What are you talking about? Alright, so I can jump like this. Alright, uh, I can blow that one. No, I guess when I'm on it I can blow it. Oop. Uh, oh. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it going to come back down? I actually jumped just as I hit the blue button and so it blew me straight back. Please, please reset, please reset. Nope. Let's try that again. I knew that if I kept going with that one I would have just gone straight off the edge. So you need to jump to get the air, then you can't use it again immediately because otherwise you... And of course the bees reset as well. No, I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, I guess hitting them with the platform is enough to take him out. Take that! Alright, let's try this a bit better this time. Um, Alright, so we can go like this. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, nailed it. Easy. Easy platform in my life. Getting back is going to be a pain. Play it safe, just play it safe. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the amount of stress. Because if I fall once, I'm like right back in the middle of that jungle again. Don't jump at me. Uh, because the game wants me to have free wind for platforming purposes. Ah, oh, shut up, monkeys! Can I can I hit the monkeys with the platform as well? Oh, the nice thing that I learned was that you can hit the coconuts sometimes. Damn it. <laughs> Don't throw coconuts at me. Come at me. Come at me, bro. No, oh, wrong way. You see how janky it is coming down? Because as the platform moves down, it moves out of the wind. Come at me. Come at me, I say. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we have more platforming. Okay, I've mastered the art of the jump down use. It's a treasure map, I guess. Or a torch! There we go, that's why we need When underwater, press attack to turn it off. That's why I needed infinite wind, duh. Ready for me to entirely miss this. I'm gonna just line up. I missed most of them. But I got progress saved and there's this which I could have used the wind for. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so I still have no idea how I'm going to be able to hit that switch. Unless we can find some fire somewhere. 
explore. Let's just see what this leads to underwater. So we got the torch. It's not really much of a torch, is it? It's all right. I'm just going to head westways. Look for anything we haven't found yet. Make another treasure chest. You have a lot of money now. All right, and then I'll play for another half an hour, then I'll head off. So now we have that torch. There's the... Actually, I might as well just head straight for it. So we get, get through one more Zelda dungeon before I head off for the evening. Piss off. I wish the screen would keep up with me as I'm moving. Out for bubbles because I haven't actually been here with the dive helmet yet. Ain't they? Ain't they totally Zelda dungeons. One of them was like lava themed. This one that I'm going to is going to be like water themed. One. One of them was psychedelic mushroom themed. You know all the classic Zelda tropes. Uh, yay, jumping puzzles to get back up again. At least there's a save point over here. Oh no, I've saved already, haven't I? As soon as I got the flashlight. At least I can jump through the... Anything down here? Let's investigate, shall we? Aha! Uh -huh. What a guess. No, no. Okay, so I can grab that hook now that I have the jumping boots. Actually, save me a few jumps if I can. If I can grab it. Piss off. Um, fish. Alright, let's see if I can actually grab this now. At any point. I grabbed it just before, you saw that. I think there's a weird thing where like if you're facing one way you can't grab things, but if you're facing another way you can. Screw it. Like how I can uh before I just throw my hat around. It's going this way and then okay. God, that's such an infuriating platforming just there, and there's no way. Other than, other than going the whole wraparound of the world to get past it. I, d I can't dive here now. <laughs> yeah, just go the full wrap of the world. I mean, my grandma is probably missing me. I'm stopping my grandma. Say hi. Wait a minute, let's see if we can kill these frogs with the cannon. Nope, it just makes them jump extra high. You'll see there's that island over in the background with the bell. And there's no island with the bell that I've been to. So I think he's going to switch me over to the other dimension. The island, where the islands are that you can see in the background. I like those will o the wisp things that you see. Wait, did that thing disappear as soon as it touched the water? No. Bees. Bees! <laughs> maybe I'll come back. Maybe now it's night time there's something different in my house. I was thinking maybe I'll come back at a certain point and it'll be like full of spiders or something. I have to do a Muffet fight. Uh, 
I don't know, quickly head up on the island to do a save. Before I dive. Maybe the islands I'm seeing in the background are like reversed images of the ones that I've been to because it's like they're on the other side of the world so you're seeing the back side of them. I saw the pawn shop stay open late at night. We have I plant. It's a shame there's arcades you can't play with. Does Globo, does Globo Corp have a huge factory into the city? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that seems a little evil world ending Globo Corp for my tastes. Alright. Let's go stealth mode. Turn it. Ah! Surprise! Yes, yeah, really not much of a torch. So yeah, you see by the time we get down to about here, it's pretty much impossible to see without a torch. If we touch any of these, we float all the way back up. You can't actually... I guess it's not all the way back up, but it's... Oh my goodness, come on. I have to go like in between them? Damn it! Water dungeons, huh? It's definitely needs to come on. Let me just get past the bubble. Past the bubble, thank you. I know, if you don't, if you're saying a water dungeon, an infuriating water dungeon isn't Zelda. I don't know what it is. There's no way to avoid that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just gonna walk along the ground in between these bubbles. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. It's not even a treasure. So, I guess it is a treasure. Oh, I mean... That's the water temple for you, I guess. <laughs> but that's the seventh treasure, so I guess the other treasures are in this dimension. <laughs> yeah, I should have just called it. But yeah, I guess there isn't a water dungeon. So there's that at least. Can't open the menu underwater. Oh, see ya, water temple. I hated you. You were terrible. I should feel bad. But I got the underwater flute, so... Oh, I guess this makes eight, because we've got the sword as well. I don't have the map for the, ninth, the twelfth one yet. That feels like it's by the island. Uh, go ahead here first. <laughs> Are you up late or up early? Because for me it's about 9pm. Oh, it must be like 6 a.m. or something for you. Oh, I wonder if the band's still playing, if it's still night time enough. Catch the band. Damn. Missed him. Nice, the 
Psycho Mushroom Island. Oh. I had a lot of trouble with the jumping puzzle on there as well. And so I just left. And I eventually came back with the boots, which let me jump a bit higher. That island in the background I definitely have not been to. It's like a weird windmill shaped thing and hidden holes and... We're going 728, we're getting close. Alrighty, 728. Guess I'll ask things. Bugger off. Alright, we got some mines. I'm gonna have to break through the ice and go down over there instead. I guess I know that I can break through the cracked ice. Alright. I can go down here. Uh Ah, uh, go away. Go away. Seriously? Okay. Don't go up, thank goodness. Down, down, down! Dive, dive, dive! Ah! Oh. Oof. Three damage. Is there an entrance down here or is it just tentacles? Just tentacles. That's what you do. I don't know why I'm still flashing. I said that bomb must have really hurt. Nothing. God. I see the treasure chest though. At least these underwater temples aren't really temples as much, they're just single screen. Yeah, you gotta go up far enough that it stops tracking you, so you can get far enough away from it so that when it does track you, it can't actually catch up to you. <laughs> My favourite kind of hentai. Treasure adventure hentai. So we got this one over here, which is probably just a normal treasure chest. Yeah. And the other one over here, which is possibly actual treasure. Um, and then we can hide in the middle. Oh, go, go, go. Got it. It's a elixir. Alright, so it seems like they're going to just give us a bunch of the treasures now. Now that we're near the end of the game. Rather than going through all these dungeons and fighting bosses and everything, they're like, oh no, you can just have that one, you can have this one, go for it. No one's on the house. Oh, I was thinking, oh damn it. I was thinking maybe, since I'm still, oh now I'm not flashing anymore. I was thinking maybe if I was still flashing, I'd be immune to damage, like it still got me in iframes, I guess not. <laughs> No, oh, don't spike me, bro. Let's go visit Grandma, shall we? Next treasure's in that direction anyway. Hopefully I can make it there without being shot. I have a notoriously bad track record with these spiky boys. Ah, not where I was, thought I was. I still have an island to go. I guess I have two islands to go, actually. I guess a save point in... Oh. Possibly. There's definitely a save point at the top here. 
It's alright, I'll just eat some turnips. Turnips should get me through the winter. Head past all the spooky ghosts. It's that castle that I was in. One time. Help the king ghosts scare out some ghosts. Oh, come on. I guess it's like ramparts or something. So uh, we most likely have been down here, yeah. Because it was just here that we got the helmet. Oop. God, I hate these spiky boys. Don't spike me, bro. Goodness gracious. Alright, let's get past. Damn it! If I die. Oh my goodness. Don't spike me. God, those things are terrible. I hate those guys. Alright, I'm gonna take a safety save here. Just because I know if I didn't take the safety save, I would be hit by the spiders and bees that are in this next little section. And I know that now I have taken the safety save, yeah, I'm not going to be hit by them. I like to think I'm pretty consistent with the getting past this area unhurt. Especially since I can kill these guys in one hit. This jump should be pretty easy now that I have the boots. Oh, easy. Yeah, that jumps used to be pretty tight. Alright, almost home. Look at that. Um, it's a shame it's night time because Grandma's going to be asleep. A little kiss on the forehead. I wonder what Grandpa's up to. I don't think he had goes to bed actually. Oh. Can't quite make the jump even with the boots. Guess I had to go and dodge, shall I? Weird old hermit, you. Hey kid, did you have any look at that island of the museum? Incredible, it sounds like a neat deep adventure. I was once young and adventurous like you, I sailed the world. Eventually I wish your grandma myself done with her on this island. We were happy and they came. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, no, it's the same thing that he said to me as soon as I first met him. Apparently just saying the first thing that he ever said to me since I left the museum for the first time as well. Hey Bagus, you old fart. How's it going? Alright, so I can get deeper into this area now. Book of Rendition. Read and translate everything. Uses a shield to reflect spells. I mean, why can't we use any of this stuff? Just let us use it. Incessant potion, a never ending elixir that reinvigorated the hero. I'd love a bottomless healing potion. Come on. Yeah, Swiss of one two and the Swiss would confuse enemies, causing them to attack their allies. Sort of vehement and effective offensive weapon with the power to slush through magical barriers. Yeah, just come on. Cross my cane, allowed it to lift impossibly heavy objects with ease. Another hero cast powerful columns of fire. I wouldn't mind any of these powers. Be able to travel safely through other dimensions. Come on. I get the feeling that we might get to use them in the final the final show off between good and evil. I still bet it's our father is the evil one now. Can we go down any further? I think this is where we made up to, yes. 
I have three treasures to go, jeez. Uh, we can put on a purple hat and that's these guys because they're scared of purple. You're meant to be scared of purple, thank you. Scared, scared. Thank you. Thank you. See, the AI in this game is a bit silly sometimes, like with those pirates and these guys. Alright, turn it so far. Oh, it's like a... Which order do you need to light the torches when? Nope. Nope. Oh, it's like you have to light them all at once. Huh? Oh, I think the top one stayed lit, actually. Huh? Huh? Is it you have to keep them all lit at once? Jeez. Okay. Maybe that's the bottom one. <laughs> it's like, oh, by the way, you can use that thing now to make columns of fire. Yeah, I think the trick was just keeping that bottom torch lit because then it would just refill the bottle immediately. Alright, so I think we can go through like three or four of these. It's been a while since we've been in here. <laughs> Why? My spam wins again! Uh, that doesn't look safe. That feels like I'm gonna be spiked or something. Guess not. Ah, uh, that'd be ridiculous. Don't give me a new ability. Oh, it's too easy. And also, if you look on the left, I think I've got everything now. Alright, so we can stand on this guy and walk this guy. Over the spikes. Easy. Grab the dimensional shard. Do we have to keep walking it? We do indeed. Alright, we get another basic chest. That was my bad. I'll just boost down, I guess. That's up there. That's something I can hit with fire. I guess I need to get this and then I can get that and then that might give me a wind gust. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if I really need a wind gust to get over there. Damn it. I think I could just jump. Or at least very close to just jump. Ah oh, man, look at all that healing just past this column. Just after number 10. Alright, now watch me die on the way getting back out again. Oh, I mistimed that. I mistimed that real bad. I think that might actually, let's get to the, let's at least get to the temple that we're heading to. Yeah, we're so close. I think we've actually might have gone past it. I wasn't looking at the compass. Oh yeah, we're like, oh no, we're on it. It's weird they didn't implement the lockpick feature a bit more. <laughs> it feels good being able to shoot these guys now. Um, let's just have a little quick little look down here. Oh, there's something underwater over to the right there. 
I need to remember that. Actually, I know exactly where that is too. Probably a dimensional shard over there. That is in the water just down here. Head out and around. This. Hey, Chumpy. Imagine. Really? Really? Damn it! I was about to compliment myself! Shh, shh, you didn't say anything. As far as you're concerned, I'm a genius, alright? Looks like there's just a weird interaction between the inside and the outside. I see a bush monster. Come on. Alright, we're getting close. What do we need to get to? 242. Okay, let's have a look. See if we don't forget the May. Oh dear. Oh dear. Really? Wait, what? Oh, when we have our light on. Come on. Slip on past. I can still just about see. We just like flash our light every now and then. But at least I can actually kind of see down here. Look at that. Too easy. Come at me, fish. You got air. Treasure! It looks like a headdress or something. Probably imbues the. stops the hero from taking any damage whatsoever, especially from giant anglerfish. Yeah, it seems like they're kind of just giving the treasures to us now. Next up, 11. Boom, 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 boom. I keep an eye out for bubbles. I haven't been here with the dive helmet yet. Oh, actually, I can get this dimensional shard now that I have the boots. I can make this jump before. I guess it looks like I still can't. It's off. should be a safe point at this like look at that castle on stilts in the background that's definitely not an island safe point just here is this one underwater it is so that might be a safe point with it so with that i think that i'll do it with the stream for today thanks for joining me leech good to see somebody showing up and having a chat and i'll uh, catch you tomorrow where i should be able to get tre at least treasure 11 and that might oh that might trigger something for treasure 12 so i'm looking forward to it it seems like we're definitely in the home stretch looking more to the dimension hopping more traveling uh one more or oh, two more
Yeah, one more that we have the map for. Tre we have treasure map 11, we don't have tre map treasure map 12 yet. I'm not sure where we're going to get that, but I feel like because it's number 12, it's going to be in some special place that might trigger once we've got 11. Maybe it will be the map that we get in the museum underneath that we could only get to with treasure 11. Thanks for that, thanks for joining me, and yeah, hope to catch you tomorrow, or whenever you can. Have a good day.